Welcome back for Minute 27. I'm Brian. I'm Richard. And this is I Love You 3000 Minutes, the podcast where we traveled back in time endgame style to rewatch the entire Infinity Saga. Saga style? I don't know what that means, but I said it. Starting from Iron Man 1 to Spider-Man Far From Home. Will we go beyond that to Black Widow? Who knows? Check back in with us in like eight years. <laughs> this is Minute 27 of Iron Man and Richard. What happened? First off, you got vindication on my ass. Because you were like, snow, motherfucker. <laughs> snow. <laughs> and I was like, but Afghanistan. And then you were like, what's it? the night's like in Afghanistan? And I was like, everything's on airplane mode, so I can't actually check. Hey, Google, what temperature is it in Afghanistan at night? It's too quiet. Hey, Google, 80% volume, please. Hey, Google, what's the temperature at night in Afghanistan? Say Kabul? Yeah, Kabul, Afghanistan. You know what? Is what that the Jackson, in Afghanistan? Hey Google. Where is, is Kabul? Hey Google, is Kabul in Afghanistan? Kabul, Afghanistan is 6,952 miles away. So we're 6,000 miles away from us where we are right now. Hey Google, how many Kabuls are there? Sorry, I don't understand. Right? Isn't there a different Kabul? I don't know. Hey yeah. Google, how many different cities named Kabul are there? I might be thinking of Cabo. Sorry, I don't have any information about so, that. All right. Google, stop. All right, so I feel a little more vindicated because 71 degree snow. 71 degrees. That's right now, yeah. impressive. Because <laughs> they are in Afghanistan. Well, that was one night. We don't know what it's like right over there. But tonight, it's 71 degrees in Afghanistan. They definitely got their Google homes telling them <laughs> bulk up. <laughs> but I, I won't accept the fact that they were all in fleece jackets during the day. It's unacceptable. It's cooler there at night than in this apartment. <sighs> fuck you <laughs> i tried to put as all the love in that statement so you understood it was a fuck you with love <laughs> so <laughs> what happened in this minute besides your vindication um and it's... my vindication Tony Plan finally shows him the Tony Plan. Tony Stark finally shows him the plans. You see, when he was asked earlier what they were, mm. he was still just making the arc reactor. He's like, "We can't do anything without this arc reactor. I don't know what we're gonna do yet." He's like, "Yep, I don't know the plan." Yeah, <laughs> he seems like it. a guy who, if he was working on this at the time, mm -hmm. he wasn't gonna show it until it was finished, or at least his idea was finished mm -hmm. when it was necessary. But if I'm correct, and I don't know if I am, in my uh, collector's edition for Phase One, which had like the case and everything if people remember i think they had something like this as part of the file the avengers file that nick fury has later on but i like it and very dramatic and he finally shows him out to find out yeah he finally shows him the plans it looks like a suit it looks like a super suit and they flatten it out makes a more complete picture and i like that he said flatten them out and look but tony flattens them out <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like it would be like me you well, asking how is community and i said Put it on and you'll find out. And then I take the remote out of your hands. Which you would do. Community. Which you would do. Only, no. But hold on. There's a, is that? Okay, yeah, never mind. I thought that was something on his wrist. Like a, like a sleeve thing on his wrist, but that's just light. So gotcha. maybe that is Tony that flames it out. Oh, it is. He leans in with his, you see his right arm. Yeah, yeah. 16 second mark going forward. And that's him. Mouth exposed in the suit. Well, I know later it's not, at mm -hmm. least. But in the drawing, it does look like that. And I like that his look afterwards before uh, Jensen says brilliant. Or he says it's kind of like, I dare you to say this isn't a genius idea. <laughs> like he looks at him for a hot second. And it could seems... also be like a, you like that? You like those plans, huh? Yeah. You mm -hmm. like how these plans look? Yeah. Say it. Call me daddy. Mm -hmm. You're like, you have one week. It's a very important week. Well, I'm making them. <laughs> Finally, these, these fires are for warmth. Because there is some flurry. There's no snow on the ground. But there's a bit of flurry in the air. Uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, as you pointed out while we were watching, on the screen that they're watching them in through the cameras, he has a little light-up circle on his chest. Mm -hmm. And they do, like, a, a hand-holding high-five. Tony's like, like oh, yeah. Hands? I, yeah, they look. Yeah. And Tony's like, second. yeah, no more car battery. Woo. Yes. The, I will touch <laughs> your hand with my free hand now. <laughs> but then they go to backgammon, I believe it is. And he asks... <laughs> 
and then it ends with him saying, you still haven't told me where you're from, as if he asked <laughs> on camera. <laughs> but then he says, I'm from a small town called Goal. A great film. You should check it out. Goal. The Dream Begins. I think it's like $4.99 on iTunes. Mm -hmm. It's good. I mean, by the time this comes out, it won't be anymore. I'm sure it's good. By that, I meant by the time this comes out, it won't be $4.99 on iTunes anymore. But it still will be good. <laughs> so, anything else for this minute? Mm -hmm. They're very casual. They're very like, eh, so we might die in a week, whatever. <laughs> I mean, this, screw these guys. This does sound like some much needed downtime. Mm -hmm. I like that one of the die, the one that uh, stops on six, kind of looks like it has two pieces of dice glued together mm -hmm. and it's, I, I it is interesting i like that they choose without we don't see the people watching them on the monitors again at this insert shot but the first time we see the arc reactor in his chest it is through the surveillance system mm -hmm. so tony's gone under surgery again i want oh man that must have sucked because they don't have a way like the first time he went under surgery thankfully he was just passed out mm -hmm. but he must have done that alive and we see him later hurt when pepper helps him with it figure there oh yeah and then is he in pain as it's happening when pepper's helping him with it yeah and that's not even a full surgery it's mm -hmm. just taking out a mag or a wire mm -hmm. yeah they, he must have had geez that's intense surgery they might have i wonder if it's mounted to a sternum or something like the original electromag you know electromagnetic piece of metal that they had there i wonder if that was just mounted to a sternum or something which would hurt for like weeks or months well, I know later this version, when you take out the main component, you can reach your whole hand inside. Mm -hmm. So it may be fitted to this, but it, it definitely goes past the sternum. Which, if you didn't know, is the part of the chest right I'm, in the middle. I'm the one that... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might be below the sternum. Yeah. Could be. So I'm just kidding. I know you said below the sternum the first thing. But I think it's like this part where, it all, where the ribs come together yeah. and the sternum. But, like, I don't think it's below. I don't think it's, you know, in the meat. Are you talking about the arc reactor? Where yeah. It's located? Where, yeah. I think it's right. I think it actually replaced bone. Ah, uh, okay. That would hurt so bad. <sighs> right? Yeah, you would be sore for a long time. Yeah, he's been sore this whole time. And not only that, just now, Jensen had to, like, without <sighs> anesthetic, mm -hmm. rip that old one out mm -hmm. and put the new one in. Mm -hmm. And stop bleeding and make him feel good enough to be like, yeah, well, I want a, I want a low five handhold. Unless uh, how Jensen made the original like, electromagnetic thing, it kind of mounted in there. And then he just had to unmount the electro, the original thing and then mount the new one in there. And go. I don't know, because later on that metal looks pretty pristine when they replace that one. Could be. It looks like stainless steel shiny. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad they just skipped over that <laughs> and didn't explain. Because, <laughs> woof, that would have... Hmm. I want to know. Look, my daughter had a pacemaker put in this most previous summer. And seeing her recovery, it was... Tough. Horrifying. Like, I had to put on a brave face, but later when I watched uh, The Matrix in theaters with Christian for the first time, and Neo says, why do my eyes hurt? And Morpheus says, you've never used them before. It made me finally be able to experience what she must have gone through. Because, I mean, it's not going to help if I'm freaking out mm -hmm. while she's freaking out. Mm -hmm. So I had to put on that brave face and close myself off to what she was experiencing mm -hmm. to be more supportive for her. Like, considering how painful that shit was for her... When it wasn't done, relatively speaking, barbarically, mm -hmm. and she had all the pain medication that could safely be given to her, mm -hmm. how hard that was. That would be the torture. Yeah. You want to put him in water and make him spark up? No. Tell him, put that arc reactor in his chest. It's going to hurt a lot more than us drowning him. Mm -hmm. Whew. What? It just took me 12 years to consider how, how fucked up this is. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, damn. Oof. Oof. Do you have anything else for this? He shouldn't be moving around right now, but whatever. No, he's shaking <laughs> dice. He's making small talk. You know, you still haven't told me wh where you're from. In reality, you'd be like, still haven't told me where you're from. Just fucking anything to distract from the goddamn pain. Ah, oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> it's probably screwing with his sternum, too. <laughs> Just think of every breath, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <sighs> Let's move on to the next thing. Sure. I have a feeling they're about to come in the uh, Ten Rings group. 
They're gonna come and be like, what the hell is this? You guys are just playing back game and blah, blah, blah. So. I like that that was some, like, weirdly Italian version of Dracula from Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> what the hell is this? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to mock people you don't like. I was <laughs> deconstructing. I know. Both. That's one way to mock people you don't like. I didn't yeah. say it all that's like one way for me to, That's one way for me to mock people I don't like. Oh, that's the voice you use? Yeah. Gotcha. That's, that's the voice a lot of people use. You just make them sound stupid and say blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Look at you. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Weirdly. So with that, just for a second. What? For the audio, stop spitting. <laughs> okay. But strangely, whatever, I would go into like... A mockery thing or mm-hmm. impersonating someone else jokingly i never realized it but i would literally go back to like 50 chicago accent <laughs> it was weird what i is, never noticed that? it until i was tra- i can't mock me right I, can't, now. I can't do it on command <laughs> mock, now that i'm in my head about it mock me mock how i take showers at one hand <laughs> that sounds dirtier i needed to pee and he took a shower for like 45 minutes last night it was not. Right. I swear it was at least 30 was minutes. Not. I was sitting in that chair. I watched multiple 10 minute <laughs> videos on YouTube. Just like, I can't go back to bed because I need to pee and to shower. And so, I, I thought you might. <laughs> I just like checked the coast to make sure it was clear before I went to my room. And I opened it. And you're just staring straight at me. <laughs> just I'm like, like yee. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Do you have any more for this minute? Nope. All right. That was minute 27. I'm Brian. Or nope. You go first. I'm Richard. I'm Brian. You got an army? We've got a podcast. Oh, snow. Yeah. See, that's what I was saying. We don't know what that climate is like. I mean, there are nights it gets really cold. They're in Afghanistan. Do you know what Afghanistan climate is like? Does it get cold at night? Do you know? Just wondering. (laughs) Do you know? (laughs) 